On this video clip, we're going to go ahead and learn how to make a very simple table garnish and apple bird. Oh. Uh, the tools that you'll need to make the apple bird that we're going to make in this video session is, uh, the main one is a knife. Paring knife, a little utility knife, even a French knife would work. You just want to make sure that it has a nice thin blade on it and of course that it's sharp. That will help to get the very thin pieces that you want so they're not all jagged. Uh, in addition to the knives, go ahead and go ahead and have a toothpick or two that you're going to need to stick the head. And if any broken pieces are there, or if you want to elevate it, you have those toothpicks there to help you with that. And for the eyes on the apple bird, I have a couple clothes that I'm snapping the end off. Uh, you could also, like I said, uh, you, you could also use peppercorns, anything that's small that could resemble an eye. Even a black eyed pea would work. And the last thing that I have here right now, other than a cutting board, is a little bit of acidulated water. I have some lemon juice here. I just sprinkled a little bit into some water, and that'll help to keep the apple from oxidizing. What you need to make this apple bird, of course, is an apple. Uh, the choice of apples, there's a lot of different ones out there. The best one I think to use for garnishing would be the Granny Smith. If you need some color, this is a Red Delicious. It isn't as firm and it'll oxidize a little bit quicker, but uh, the, the Granny Smith is going to be my choice if you, if you had to have one and green didn't matter. Um, first thing we're going to do is go ahead and cut off uh, the base, and we're going to cut the base off so it can lay flat. That base is also used to help make the head of the bird. So I'm going to go in about one-third of the apple. I'm going to go ahead and cut it off. I'm going to go ahead and lay the apple flat. Now the most distinguishing part of the apple bird is the wings. What distinguishes one bird from the next is basically how you make the head look. So we're going to go ahead and do the wings first. That seems to be the most difficult part. Get those out of the way and then we'll go ahead and make the head. First thing I'm going to do is kind of start right in the, in the very top of the apple and I'm going to make a little groove on one side. I'm going to turn the apple around. I'm going to go ahead and make a little groove that connects it on the other. So I got a little wedge out of there, just like this. The next thing I'm going to do is cut right against that wedge on one side. I'd say about an eighth of an inch in. I'm going to go ahead and turn it around, just like I did before, and I'm going to cut in another wedge. And by joining those two together, that pops out of there. So there's my first two pieces of the wing. I like taking them off because it's a lot easier to see how far in you want to go whenever you have that contrast between the white and the green or the red. I'm going to go ahead and do it again. Turn around. Do the same thing. Take that piece out. And as you can see already, this is about repeating it a lot of times to get the wing. If it doesn't come out the full piece the first time, just go back and cut again until it connects. There, I got four pieces. I'm going to go ahead and go one more. And depending on the size of the apple, you can go ahead and do a lot more or even less. If you have a little small apple and you want to do a little garnish, you can do it that way too. Just making a couple slices. So there's one wing, and you can see the big groove that was processed in the, by doing that, by taking that out. Now the whole idea here, the great thing about apples is that you have that natural pectin that's in there that helps them stick together. So you can really spread these things out. That's the whole idea. And I could actually just keep it like that, or I could take these off and just use them as a garnish on a plate. I could use them as a garnish on a... Uh, a savory dish, a dessert of course that had apple represented in it if I didn't want to do the bird. I'm going to take that out. If this was a regular red Macintosh stamen, some other apple, I might want to go ahead and dip it. And I have some lemon juice and water right here. I could go ahead and dip it in here to help keep it from oxidizing. The Granny Smith it's not a really big deal. Like I said, they just don't oxidize that quick. Now, I'm going to go ahead. I got one here. I'm going to go ahead and put two more on each side. And it's just the same technique as we just did with that one. I'm going to go ahead, cut a wedge out. And go through the same sequence. 
if the apple's bigger, I might even be able to get another wing below the one that I'm cutting right now. End up maybe looking at, uh, it'll look like a swan after that. These apple birds have been around forever. People have been doing it, and there are so many different types you can do. This is probably the simplest. Maybe in some other clips we can go ahead and do some full-fledged swans that have a lot more wings. Of course, you'd need more apple for that, but uh, that shouldn't be a big deal. Now, I'm going to go ahead on my last one and show you what happens whenever you cut through. Cause just like my students, they start flipping out whenever it gets cut and they're thinking they have to throw it away. Tell them the same thing that it's no big deal. We can go ahead and fix it. These things have so much pectin in them. I'll go ahead and show you right here. They have so much pectin in them that they, they'll stick back together. So let's just say I cut through that piece and it's like this. Well, I can actually put that back in there and it'll stick because of the pectin that's in there. And the next wing that I put in there will help keep that in place. Just like that. So you'll never know. If it really was an issue, you could also stick a, a uh, toothpick in there if you wanted to to keep it where you want it to be. Okay, so I'm going to take him out. And now I'm just going to work on the last wing on the other side. Same thing. The, the cool thing is they don't need to be balanced. To me, they kind of look more interesting if they're not totally symmetrical. In other words, one wing goes off one direction. Let me back up here a little bit. One wing goes off in another direction. Just makes it look more interesting. And I'll stop short on this one. I don't have to do the same amount of wings if I don't want to. I'm going to go ahead and put it back together. Like I said, if you have something other than a grainy smith, you can go ahead and put in a little bit of lemon juice, or some other acid. I think that was my metal, yeah. And to keep it from oxidizing. I'm going to go ahead and start to fan these wings out a little bit. Like I said at the beginning, this is the cool part. This is the part that really makes it look like a bird is these. And the cool thing is they're really, they're really easy to do. And they don't take too much work. And in all honesty, I don't do a lot of them. But they're nice to come up with a real garnish for, or a garnish for a cheese tray or something really quick. Now, the head can go any different direction. I had one over here that I cut to look like a duck. And like I said before, I can make different birds depending on what the face looks like. I'm going to go ahead and set him there. I'll go ahead and show you how to do a real simple one. You just go ahead and take that piece of apple and cut straight down through the center. You're looking about a quarter of an inch slice. Put these off to the side. And then you're going to go ahead and take this and you're going to make a beak on it can see that or not. I'm going ahead and go ahead and cut a angle right there. And then I'm going to go ahead and cut the neck out. Just like this. So now I have a head for this bird. I'm going to go ahead and put it on the front here. I'm going to use a toothpick to do that. If I wanted this to look like a swan, I could have put some more wings on the bottom, like I said earlier can also make a different design for the head. It looks a little bit more like a swan. You get a couple clothes here. You could use anything small. Peppercorn would work too. I'm going to go ahead and put one on each side. And all I did was just break the bottom off of it a little bit. Just like that. And there's a really simple apple bird. One I had right here in the beginning, all I did was I took, get that out of the way, I took 
the took a base on another apple and went ahead and just put some toothpicks on that and set that down on there to give it some height. That way I could put some, maybe a little bit of garnish around the bottom to elevate it from the tray. There you go, your basic apple bird.